Hi, everybody. My name's Jason. I'm Caden. I'm AI. And we are the Yahoo and the Tour channel. And we thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us. And we are still dealing with a mild cold. Some of us are dealing with a bigger cold than others, but we are uh, under the weather, as they say. And we hope that you guys are not under the weather. We hope you guys are having a great week. And it is a moon day. It is a Monday for all of us who are having to go out into the workforce. We hope that you guys have a wonderful week. We're sorry that you have to go out into the workforce. Um, but I hope that you guys do have a wonderful week. And we thank you guys very, very much for being part of our family. And you guys are our family as well. We appreciate you all and we love you. And we are the family who believes that the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Torah, which is found in Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, is good for all times, for all generations, for all peoples, for all creeds, for all races, for everybody. And it is what we are hooking our star to, it is what we're hooking our life to, and it is what if you guys hook your star and your life to, it will enhance your life, it will give you guys clarity, it will give you guys an opportunity for eternity in the kingdom to come. Now, all of us have eternity, but you have to determine where you are going to spend your eternity. And a lot of people will spend their eternity in hell. In fact, Messiah Yahushua is, says to a lot of people, depart from me, you who work lawlessness. Now, lawlessness is iniquity. Iniquity is defined in the Torah. There's no other place that we get what sin is and what sin isn't, except in the Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, which is the Torah. Okay. And so we are on the book of Adam and Kawa, and we are uh, going to go into chapter 14 right now. Verse 1. When Enosh was 900 years old, all the children of Sheph and of Canaan and of his, and his firstborn and with wives, with their wives and children, gathered around him asking for a blessing from him. He then prayed over them and blessed them and adjured them by the blood of Hevel, the just saying to them, let not one of your children go down from this Kodesh mountain. And let them make no fellowship with the children of Canaan, the murderer. Then Enosh called his son Canaan and said to him, See, O my son, and set thy heart on thy people, and establish them in righteousness and in innocence, and standing ministering before the body of our father Adam all the days of thy life. After this, Enosh entered into rest, aged 985 years, and Canaan wound him up and laid him in the cave of treasures on the left of his father Adam and made offerings for him after the custom of his fathers. All right, so we just uh, lost Enosh. Enosh is uh, gone, he's, he's dead, and we are going to go into the chapter 15. After the death of Enosh, Canaan stood at the head of his people in righteousness and innocence, as his father had commanded him. He also continued to minister before the body of Adam inside the cave of treasures. Then, when he had lived 910 years, suffering and affliction came upon him. And when he was about to enter into rest, all the fathers with their wives and children came to him. And he blessed them and adjured them by the blood of Hevel, the just, saying to them, Let not one among you go down from this Kadesh mountain and make no fellowship with the children of Canaan, the murderer. Mahalel, his firstborn, received this commandment from his father, who blessed him and died. Then Mahalel embalmed him with sweet spices, and laid him in the cave of treasures with his fathers, and they made offerings for him after the custom of their fathers. All right, and that we're going to do one more chapter here, and that is two of the forefathers that we have known from Genesis 5 that is now gone. Now, the interesting thing is that the sons of Canaan are, uh, and Canaan himself, are all down. Well, Canaan, he's dead, but he is, uh, they are all down below this mountain. And they are, um, at this point, we are hitting into where Genesis 6 came, where Genesis 6 was where the watchers had corrupted themselves with the children of men. So the children of Canaan were all now intermingling with the watchers. The watchers had made themselves into human form and had um, bred with the human women. And now all below, there is some great corruption that is happening down there. So let us continue on into this. This will be the final chapter for today. The Mahalo stood over his people and fed them in righteousness and innocence and watched them to see they held no intercourse with the children of Canaan. He also continued in the cave of treasures, praying and ministering before the body of our father Adam, asking Elohim for mercy on himself and on his people until he was 870 years old when he fell sick. Then all his children gathered unto him to see him and to ask for his blessing on them all. Ere he left this world. Then Mahalel arose and sat on his bed. 
his tears streaming down his face, and he called his eldest son Yared, who came to him. He then kissed his face and said to him, O Yared, my son, I adjure thee by him who made Shimaim and earth to watch over thy people and to feed them in righteousness and in innocence, and not to let one of them go down from this Kadesh mountain to the children of Canaan, lest he perish with them. Here, O my son, Hereafter, there shall become a great destruction upon this earth on account of them. Elohim will be angry with the world and will destroy them with waters. But I also know that thy children will not hearken to thee and that they will go down from this mountain and hold intercourse with the children of Canaan and that they shall perish with them. O my son, teach them and watch over them that no guilt attach to thee on their account. Mahalel said, moreover to his son Yared, when I die, Embalm my body and lay it in the cave of treasures by the bodies of my fathers. Then stand thou by my body and pray to Elohim and take care of them and fulfill thy ministry before them until thou enterest and to rest thyself. Mahalel then blessed all his children and then lay down on his bed and entered into rest like his fathers. But when Yared saw that his father Mahalel was dead, he wept and sorrowed and embraced and kissed his hands and his feet and so did all his children. And his children embalmed him carefully and laid him by the bodies of his fathers. Then they arose and mourned him 40 days. Now, this is a lot of generations that just died off here. There was a tremendous amount of time that went from the time when Enosh died and Mahalel died. And um, it, it, well, there was a ton of, ton of time here. And so this is um, the forefathers that we have and they are perishing and there is a lot of people and a lot of the stuff we don't get is how many people were there. And there were a ton of people because we're, you know, every generation, you know, in the 120 years that we have, you, you know, people can have 15 kids if they were, you know, probably more than that if they were, you know, um, <laughs> baby factories. But um, that's, this is, we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years is what we have. And so there is a huge population here it is not a small population there is a civilization and so that is um the people that uh our forefathers and foremothers and these are the people in the history of this and um well i guess that is it anyone have anything here all you sickies read your bibles. yeah read your bibles are you sickies you got anything kate um no read your bibles um stay, stay healthy don't, stay healthy don't, don't 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 interact with the nations don't don't do as the nations do yeah and if you yeah. go if you go out don't touch your mouth or you get sick <laughs> yeah <laughs> for yeah eli is the one that took us to school here on this one and it passed it down the line it went from eli to Caden to Jaden, and then i have now a mild head cold um, and it's trying to take me to school as well, and so I'm trying to fight it off. So far, Miss Nicole has not seen any kind of uh, pressure, which is good because she's the one that takes care of all of us. So with that, everybody, we hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and we are out. All right, all right shalom. shalom.